So in our next segment, we have two professors joining us from different schools that are going to talk about the two pathways, a two-year pathway and a four-year pathway. We have with us Associate Dean for the School of Science and Health at Jefferson College, Kenneth Wilson, and joining after Kenneth will be Dr. Julia Moffitt, the Dean of Health Sciences with Stevens College in Columbia, Missouri. So we're going to go ahead and turn it over to uh, Kenneth. Kenneth, if you want to go ahead and zoom in, and thank you for sharing, um, you know, some of the programs that you have at Jefferson College, as well as just in general, those two-year college pathways. Excellent, Brian. This has been a fantastic day. I've actually been on all day watching, and this has just been amazing. I, uh, I wanted to start off by talking about uh, the, the pathway model that we've been discussing all day, which is you get into a professional, uh, you get into a profession in healthcare, and then you stack credentials on top of that. You add experiences, you add degrees, you add credentials, and you grow. And so that's the benefit of a two-year college is that we give you that entrance into the profession of healthcare, and then you decide where your path and your career goes. Next slide, please. Uh, I wanted to start off by thanking uh, Missouri Chamber, uh, Missouri Hospital Association, um, Missouri DESE. Uh, they're all wonderful partners, and this has been an unbelievable experience. My background is as a physical therapist. Uh, I did scouting explorers uh, back in uh, way long ago. We'll just put it at that. And uh, that experience helped me to identify physical therapy as a career that I wanted. I was in physical therapy in the clinical practice for 20 years, um, worked as an athletic trainer as well, and uh, as a certified hand therapist, so got to work with hands and shoulders. So through that, um, I learned that I also had a passion for education. And so now I've been at Jefferson College for about 10 years, and uh, that, uh, that this experience hopefully will give you some ideas about what you wanna do in your healthcare career. Next slide, please. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Jefferson College, uh, we like to consider ourselves the jewel of Jefferson County. We are a gorgeous campus just south of St. Louis County that uh, provides a number of healthcare programs and opportunities for you to enter into the healthcare field and then stack credentials on top of that. Uh, next slide, please. So I want to start off with nursing. Nursing has um, been a long time career at Jefferson College, long time program. We have multiple pathways into that nursing career. And I think uh, Dominique from Mosaic said it, said it best, which is there are multiple ways in which you can work as a nurse. So at Jefferson College, we have what's known as a bi-level nursing program. What that basically means is that the year one is the practical nurse. Uh, once you finish that year one, you take a, a certification exam called the NCLEX to prepare yourself for um, work as a PN while you continue your role uh, or your educational pathway to get your registered nurse, which is another exam that you then can function as an RN. Uh, it was also noted that most of our healthcare partners uh, work with uh, nurses to get them up to the BSN level. So any, any student that graduates from a two-year college can then go on to BSN or nurse practitioner or, or, or many other pathways within nursing. The other thing I wanted to note about this is we also have some non-credit programs and certificate level programs, certified nursing assistant, patient care technician. You know, these are your entry level certificate programs. You can get these in less than six months uh, to be able to get you started in the healthcare field. Uh, some of these training programs will happen at an institution or will happen at, a, um, at, at the job site itself. So uh, next, uh, next slide, please. Now, I thought it was really cool that we followed St. Francis. Uh, we actually have St. Francis as one of our radiologic technology clinical partners. So our students go to St. Francis to uh, work on their clinical skills. Um, we actually have, I believe, one of our graduates is working there. But radiologic technology, uh, like nursing, is a program that gives you the ability to go in multiple different directions in the world of imaging. So once you have your radiologic technology uh, registry, you can then go into all of those things that uh, Dawn talked about, which she did a great job of doing that. Um, but we have stackable credentials in, in CT and in MRI. Uh, and we're starting one in mammography. So those are opportunities for registered technologists to then go on and stack credentials to be able to work in specialty areas um, in, within imaging. Uh, go ahead, next slide, please. 
I do want to mention that we just done a, a, a complete remodel on our radiologic technology wing at the institution, and it is, uh, okay, I'm going to brag, it's stellar. Uh, we have three functioning uh, x-ray machines, so the students get the opportunity to take x-rays on, not on real, not on real students, but on phantoms and, and other um, mannequins to be able to practice their skills so that when they do go out to, uh, to do their clinical experiences, so for example, at St. Francis uh, or at BJC, um, they'll be able to have higher skill levels going in to be able to uh, work uh, on, uh, on maximizing or strengthening those skills prior to graduating. Um, next slide, please. So uh, I saw a note in the chat earlier about uh, physical therapy and PTA, physical therapist assistant, obviously near and dear to my heart. Uh, but we do have a physical therapist assistant program led by Dr. Bridget Webb that is just phenomenal. Um, I get the opportunity. They let me teach a couple of classes every once in a while, which is awful nice of them. Uh, but physical therapy is really um, is one of the rehabilitation sciences. So this is where we really get to work with uh, people post-injury, illness, wellness, a whole bunch of areas um, use, utilizing those, um, those foundational sciences of kinesiology, which is the study of body movement, and anatomy and physiology, to get people back to function, to get them moving back uh, in, in whether it's being able to get in and out of the house and being able to get to work or being able to, to function at a higher level. We also work with athletes to be able to get them back in the, uh, back on the field. So um, physical therapist, uh, physical therapist assistant, uh, near and dear to my heart. So if anybody has questions about that, don't don't fail to don't don't fear to shout those out. Next slide, please. And the sister program to physical therapist assistant, they they're both kind of in the rehabilitation sciences, is occupational therapy assistant. So OTAs, um, these are these are the experts in that function. So when you think of occupation, you think about a job. When in actuality, occupation is broader, uh, is, is more broadly defined than that. So we're talking about anything you do functionally. So anything you do in your day-to-day -day life would be something that falls within the realm of an OTA and what an occupational therapist would do. So our OTA program um, is, is helping students help patients uh, return to their functional lives. Next slide. So the um, Brian keeps mentioning, if you don't like blood, um, we, we, I wanted to mention health information technology, which is the business side of healthcare. That's the way we've, we've chosen to, to, to talk about it. This is for, this is for individuals that uh, want to be in healthcare, but don't necessarily uh, want to uh, want to deal with body fluids. So uh, HIT is going to be everything from, um, from managing electronic health records to um, to billing and coding, to being, getting paid for services, uh, working through registering patients, authorizing insurances, a, a ton of different things on the, on the front side, on the patient customer service aspect, getting students into the healthcare system and moving them forward and, and maintaining the documentation of those records. So HIT is a, is a two-year program completely online. Next slide, please. And lastly, but definitely not, definitely not least, I had to mention our friends in veterinary technology. I noticed there have been a lot of conversations about veterinary in the chat. Uh, veterinary technology is, is uh, veterinary nursing. Basically, this is healthcare for our four-legged um, and, uh, and other animal friends. Um, and very similar to a nursing program, you're studying a lot of the pharmacology and a lot of the uh, the disease processes and the treatment and uh, endeavors that you would have when you take your uh, take your uh, your your household pet to the vet. So uh, lots of uh, lots of really cool things. Uh, we have the 25th oldest veterinary technology program in the country. I found out last week, so a little proud of that. We've got a great vet tech program. So next slide, please. And lastly, just wanted to say, um, Jefferson College, we don't have waiting lists. So if you are interested in getting in a program, we do what we call selective admission. So um, if you've got a strong academic record and you're ready to start in a program, um, you don't necessarily have to sit around and wait to get into a program. Uh, we are right, we are just south of St. Louis. So we're uh, easy commute. Uh, we do have on-campus housing. All of our programs are fully accredited or approved. Uh, we do our best to, to keep those uh, those student to faculty ratios low, which is an important thing you need to consider as you're looking for programs. 
Um, our faculty are phenomenal. Of course, I'm a little biased. Um, and then uh, lastly, and, and most importantly for you as students, um, our graduates pass their boards, they pass their registries, and they get jobs. Um, talking about the radiologic technology field uh, and the nursing field, the, you know, the vast majority of our graduates have jobs before they graduate. Um, that's, that's high need that those fields are. So, um, so that's, that, that's, my, uh, that's my spiel, Brian. This has been phenomenal. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed being a, being a spectator through, through today. So uh, um, thank you very much. Yeah, you bet, Dean Wilson. And thanks for joining us. I mean, Jeff, Jefferson College just has so many great opportunities. You outlined a lot of them. And you actually answered a lot of the questions we had coming to you uh, based on some of the previous stuff. So thanks for that. We do have one question because I'm, I'm really happy that you touched on this. Your vet tech program, that's an area of healthcare, you know, for our small and large furry friends uh, that's, that's much needed in the state of Missouri. Can you explain a little bit how long that vet tech program is? So, um, so interestingly, my, I, I'm working from home as we have a snowy day here in Jefferson County, and my, my furry friends are, are back in the room with my wife so that they wouldn't bark during our presentation. But the Veterinary Technology Program is a, is a two-year program following uh, the completion of some prerequisite coursework. Um, there is, uh, it is accredited by the American Veterinary Medicine Association. We have brand new facilities that we have just uh, updated from uh, benefits from some state funding that we've received. Uh, the veterinary technology program is, once again, it's been around since 1976, I believe. Um, it has, uh, we, we really are the only veterinary technology program in Southeast Missouri. And we, um, we try and serve that large footprint. It, it is a phenomenal program. And I love working in the career and tech ed building because there's always animals around. So um, it makes my day much better. And every once in a while, they let me take my basset hound to work. We call him Winston Wednesday. Nice. Very nice. Uh, so, well, yeah. uh, Dean Wilson, we have one last question um, from Lauren. She asked, um, do you have a surgical program of any kind? We do not have a surge tech program, but what we do is in those areas where we don't have a specific program, we'll work closely with you to get your prerequisites and make sure they're the right prerequisites that you need and help you get transferred on. So a perfect example is our is dental dental hygiene and dental assisting. We do not have DA or DHY programs at Jefferson College, but St. Louis Community College just right up the road has phenomenal programs, and so we work closely with them to make sure that if you're if you're wanting to go in one of those programs, we're getting you the prereqs you need so that you can transfer into those. And then moving on to, to talk about Stevens a little bit, you know, we do have uh, articulation agreements with Stevens. So for example, in our HIT and our um, RAD tech program, um, if you want to transfer on to get a bachelor's, to get a higher degree, once you finish one of our associate applied science programs, we have seamless articulation so that you can go right into that next program. They accept your credits that you had at Jefferson College and, and you're ready to move on into the next step of your career. Wow, that, you know, thank you for mentioning that, Dean Wilson. You know, the smooth transition um, I think students today really pay attention to that, that they want to know that as they move through their two-year degree program, that it's going to um, work really well in partnership with their four-year degree program that they springboard off to. And it's great that you mentioned Stevens College. Um, it's a wonderful institution. In fact, we have uh, Dr. Moffitt coming up next. So, uh, Dean Wilson, thank you for joining us today. Oh, it's been my pleasure. I, I would, I would just, um, I would, I would recommend to the students to ask those questions about transfer. Ask those questions about. Um, about it, you know how what the next step in that pathway is because it you know healthcare there's multiple ways you can get into it and once you get into it there's multiple avenues that will open up for you so keep asking questions keep being curious keep being a lifelong learner I think that's a that's also a clear message that's come through with all of our all of the presenters today is that that passion to be lifelong learners and to continue to grow and continue to learn so. Um, and this, once again, I'll say it again. This has been a fantastic day, Brian. Sign us up for next year. <laughs> Thanks, Dean Wilson. We certainly will. And thank you for joining us live from your home due to the snow and inclement weather. So my pleasure. All right. We're going to now zoom back into our next um, education partner, which was mentioned, Stevens College. So um, before we have uh, Dr. Julia Moffitt, the Dean of School of Health Sciences, come in, we actually have a wonderful video they've put together to kind of showcase a little bit about their programs. Let's go see. 
The nursing program at Stevens College is a brand new three-year baccalaureate program. The BSN uh, program usually takes four years, but ours is condensed into three with two summers. One of the unique features about our program is that it's a direct entry program. Instead of having to uh, enter the school and then apply to the nursing program at Stevens College, you apply and you know that you're in the program right away. You're going to graduate a year early. That's a year in the workforce as an RN at RN salaries, or that's a year earlier on your way to graduate school working towards a nurse practitioner or advanced degree. One of the um, special aspects about being a new program is that we designed it for healthcare today and going forward. It is very challenging to find qualified nurses to care for highly acute patients in the hospital setting. Approximately 50% of the nurses are about to retire, and so making sure that we have enough nursing schools and programs in place is really critical to the health and well-being of our communities. We have a, uh, an emphasis on public health and the other is social justice. All patients deserve equal access to health care. We incorporate um, disparities in health care as well as uh, diversity and inclusion. So we teach our students to be able to uh, succeed globally. Having practiced nursing in three continents, Africa, Europe, and here in the United States, it kind of opened my eyes to the cultural differences. We have an outstanding partnership with Boone Hospital, which is right next door to our campus. One of the benefits of the program is the simulation lab. So there are actual patient care rooms that we converted into making sure that we could provide an excellent simulation experience for them. That includes videos that are integrated into the simulations. And right next door to this high fidelity simulation center is our patients on the next floor over. So students will be learning their skills and patient care, and then they can deliver care to patients in the hospitals with their instructor. I just uh, recently took the students to the Boon Health COVID clinic. They learned to give their first shots, and that was a great experience for them. And I was able to bring them here at the Simulation Learning Center to be able to demonstrate to them a safe way to give vaccines. We have four different mannequins. So we have an adult, we have a pediatric, we have a mom, we have a neonate. Each of these mannequins uh, is set up to um, simulate as close to the real clinical environment as we can in a safe learning environment. A student can actually practice their skills in one of the simulation rooms and then they can go back to the debriefing room, watch back what they've done. It helps the students to critically think about their actions, their clinical judgment, what they did well and what they didn't do well and how to change that in order to be able to provide safe patient care. This program offers such great opportunities uh, for you to become an exceptional nurse, learning from a team who wants you to be successful. The nursing faculty get to know each individual student really well and can respond to your needs as an individual. Our faculty are excellent at being coaches, mentors, advisors that are able to individually tailor and respond to students' needs. Our goal is that every student is successful. Students uh, having been able to be a part of the Boone Hospital organization are then ideally suited and ready uh, to become, hopefully, a, a, a Boone nurse in the future. When you graduate from this program, you're going to be well sought after by employers as well as graduate schools. So students who come into the program knowing they eventually want to be a nurse practitioner or continue their education, that opportunity is going to be available to them. Nursing is a great career. Nursing gives you a lot of different opportunities, anywhere from working in a hospital setting to home care and hospice. You can go into education, teaching. I am a nurse practitioner, I'm a midwife, and here I am teaching, and I love it. The way we educate Stevens women is to become leaders in whatever field they're in. We are so excited that you are considering nursing as a profession. And I really look forward to seeing you in class in the future. That was awesome. And uh, joining us live is Dr. Julia Moffitt, Dean of the School of Health Sciences at Stevens. Thank you for joining us, Julia. Thanks, Brian. I'm happy to be here. Um, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, we have a number of 
programs in uh, the health sciences here at Stevens College. The one I, you know, we're kind of highlighting today is our brand new Bachelor of Science in Nursing program here at Stevens College. Uh, and as uh, our previous presenter pointed out, there are different pathways you can get to nursing. Uh, you can go a two-year route, and then you can transfer into uh, a, a traditional four-year program. We have a three-year program, which we do accept transfer students into that program, but we kind of have a faster route uh, to become a nurse that gets out, get you in the, out there in the workforce one year sooner than, than usual. So uh, the other distinguishing feature that we mentioned in the video is that this is a direct entry program. So you don't spend the first two years taking pre-nursing courses and then apply to the nursing program. We look at your credentials and we admit you directly from the beginning. So once you're a, a, in our program here at Stevens College, you're in for the duration of the program and we're fully committed uh, to your success. Uh, Stevens College is a, the second oldest women's college in the country. And uh, we have an enduring legacy of creating women who are leaders. And that's kind of one of the things that distinguishes a Bachelor of Science credential in nursing. You do sit for the RN credentials. You, you learn to become a leader in healthcare. Uh, and this program prepares you for that. Uh, because we are a new program, we've been able to build, build this program for nursing now and into the future. Uh, I think we can all agree that COVID has really ch radically changed the landscape of healthcare and the way we live in society. And one of the things we built from the very beginning is an emphasis in public health, as well as uh, being able to deliver culturally sensitive care in a, in a diverse society. Um, the other features we have, we have early access to really good high impact clinical experiences and uh, our fantastic partnership with Boone Hospital Center has allowed us to have that ability. We have that uh, state of the art simulation center that you saw in the video there. Uh, so our students get clinical experiences all the way beginning from their very first year uh, and then have an ongoing uh, experience at Boone Hospital, which is a magnet hospital, which means it has the highest distinguished distinguished level of nursing available. So you become an excellent nurse, not only through your education at Stevens College, but also your professionalization uh, in the healthcare system as you move through uh, your nursing program here at Stevens College. Um, you know, we have a holistic admissions process. So students who want to apply, uh, maybe uh, you don't know if you necessarily have what it takes, you can come talk to us. We'll, we'll go through your credentials and uh, give you a good idea of whether or not you'll be a great fit for the program. Uh, so we don't just zero in on numbers. You write uh, an essay. Uh, we look at the whole picture of you as an individual. And that's one of the wonderful things about the culture of Stevens College. Our mission is to learn, grow, and lead. And we live and breathe that every day when we're educating our students. So um, I'll, I'll be happy to answer questions about our nursing program or anything that students might be wondering about nursing in general or even just the program here at Stevens College. Yeah, and thank you, uh, Dr. Moffitt. It's great to have you here. And I, I do remember I actually attended the, the opening ceremonies. I want to say it was 2018 or so um, when you launched the program. And it's just amazing to see that video and all the new equipment and the resources, and then the partnership that you've developed with Boone Health. It's just, it's remarkable. It's a great, uh, it's a great focal point. Um, we had, do have a couple questions. Okay. And um, one of the things uh, that came through is uh, what high school classes should I take to help ah. get into nursing school? Good question. That's a fantastic question. You know, uh, the stronger preparation you have in biology and chemistry and mathematics, the stronger candidate you're going to be for nursing. Uh, for our program, we, we recommend three units of biology uh, and chemistry. That's a really good preparation for any nursing program. The, the, the foundation is in uh, mathematics and sciences. Yeah, you know, the STEM, it's all about STEM, mm -hmm. science, technology, yeah. engineering, and mathematics. So you're right, don't shy away from that fourth year math class or third year math class for even. Yeah. Um, so we have another question. Lexi wants to know if there are benefits in the two-year program versus a three-year program. Good question, Lexi. I think, yeah, that, uh, you know, I'm a product of the community college. I went to Three Rivers Community College. So uh, I think there are benefits in going 
uh, you know, spending two years and seeing if it's a really good fit for you. Uh, and then you can transfer um, or you can, if you're really committed and you know exactly what you want to do, you can uh, start the program from the beginning. So it kind of depends upon you as a student and uh, what your goals are. And, you know, if you're doing more ex exploration, maybe a two-year program might be a little better uh, fit, or, but if you're if you really kind of know that's what you want, the nice thing about our program here at Stevens College is we also have a parallel pathway called the Integrative Human Biology major, and uh, we have had a few students who uh, once they enter the nursing program, you know, they might think, hey, may, I think I I think I want to go to medical school, and then have transferred over to Integrative Human Biology and then uh, uh, pursue that route. So. Uh, we have really, I think one of the nice things we have here at Stevens College is we have a very flexible uh, academic framework. So students can, we can really get you to your best fit uh, as an individual as you move through your healthcare journey. Great, and, and thanks for that. We do have a, a question follow up to that. Christine asked, is there a way to specialize in radiology in your nursing program or in yeah. a nursing program? Yeah, uh, all nursing programs, you have the, the basic um, exposure to your uh, uh, to the to the profession, but you do you do rotations and clinical experiences in a number of areas. So once you once you do that, you'll get a feel for hey, I think I want to go into uh, OB gyn or maybe surgical nursing or or in in the radiology areas. And that's the wonderful thing about a career in nursing is you really can uh, specialize and gravitate towards those clinical fields that you find are uh, most exciting to you. I have a master's degree in cardiac rehabilitation and worked with many nurses in the cardiac care unit. So uh, they were very, it, uh, that was their area, their specialty, and uh, uh, that's what they like to do. So that, that's a great thing about nursing is you can specialize in your field um, uh, as a nurse. Absolutely. Excellent. Dr. Moffat, we have to, we have to close out of our program soon and we really appreciate you joining us kind of last parting shot that you give students on, you know, applying to Stevens and just any, you know, nursing school in general, what, what should they do to make themselves, you know, stand out, be a viable candidate? Yeah, I think, you know, clinical experiences and doing well in the, uh, uh, in the sciences. So uh, go to that CNA course. You, here, here in our program, most of our students are working as patient care technicians at Boone Hospital while they're, while they're uh, taking their courses. You have your CNA programs everywhere. Just jump in there and uh, start getting experiences. And then it'll, be, it'll reveal itself to you what your best fit is. And then uh, those experiences are gonna inform your success as you uh, move down the road and through your journey. Great bit of advice there. And thank you so much, Dr. Moffat, for joining us today and all that you do to prepare nurses for their career futures at Stevens College. Thanks for having me. It's been a wonderful program. Uh, it's great to see all the students interested in healthcare careers. We really need them. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see, one thing in Missouri is not short of supply is leading colleges and universities with innovative healthcare programs. You know, from today, we've heard from University of Central Missouri in Warrensburg, Park University in Kansas City, Ozark Technical Community College, Stevens College, State Fair, Jefferson College, and so many more um, that are here to prepare you for your next step. We also have students from around the country tuning in, representing California, Oklahoma, Ohio, Tennessee, Texas, and Kansas, among many, many others. And just know that you have the ability to go to a two-year and four-year college right here in Missouri, a very robust community college and four-year college program. 